Hey, what's going on boys? It is Jumbo here and welcome back to a brand new series of my Rust Solo Survival. Today, as you can see, we're in a brand new world and it might look a little bit different than usual. So if you take a quick look around, you can see that the graphics are way better than they was in the last video. That is because I finally upgraded my PC so we shouldn't run into too many lag issues. Before I upgraded, I get a lot of FPS drops all the time, so it made it difficult to try and PvP and stuff like that. Now luckily we have fixed that now so we should be able to do more end game stuff without uh, worrying about dying too easily. But unfortunately when I did upgrade the PC I lost all the footage from the last series. So that's why we're having to start again. We're now on the new update. The blueprints have wiped. The update just came out. We've got a few new things in the game. As you can see the roads are like stone and cracked. Which uh, obviously looks better than just a dirt path. There it is. That looks way better. There's quite a few new things, and the main thing for this update is the new building system. I'm playing on Rustified again this week. This is a server I want to keep staying on week in and week out. I want to try and get a lot of blueprints on here. So by the time that we get into the second or third week, we should have an easier time trying to get good videos. We'll be able to do like satchel raids and get into more PvP fights and stuff. Now with a spear right there, I need to be careful because there's quite a lot of people running around. I think I might stick around this area. The area doesn't seem too bad. Uh, we've got... This big road here, Oxum Gas Station, Lighthouse and Mining Outpost. There's no big monuments, but if we need to, we can just run to one. Right, let's quickly grab a tree and then we'll craft a spear to protect ourselves. Alright, there we go. We can craft a spear right away, I believe. Don't know why it's not showing up on the quick craft, but there we go. Alright, let's chuck it in this bush. We'll be fine for that for now. And Storm Nod here, so we can grab this and uh, craft ourselves some tools. This road down here is absolutely packed with people, though. I need to be careful. Right, there we go, 400 stones, we should be able to make both tools now. We just need the wood for that, of course. Oh, nice, we've got cloth here, so that means we should be able to make a boar right off the bike. We'll wait for our hatchet to craft, and then we'll get ourselves a boar. Right, we'll craft a boar and a pickaxe. We also have enough for a helmet, though. We might as well craft that, too, just to keep our head safe. Oh! Someone's running up on me. I don't know if the gear or not. It looks like a naked. Hello. How's it going? Oh, 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 watch out! There's one guy there, watch out, watch out, watch out. Yeah, I know, I know. Just give me a spear and we can fight him. Hurry up! Okay, if you wanna fight him right here, just like, start. Wait, hold on, let me just get some health back. Has he run away? I think he okay. might have run away. Then you try... You shoot him like uh, arrows and then I, I I hit him with the spill. Where's he gone? I don't know. I, I, he was over here. I think he might have run away. Yeah, yeah, my... yeah, it looks like he's gone. Not sure where he, where he is right now. Yeah. Where? Oh, right there. Nice. Hello? Let's kill that guy. Let's kill that guy. Though. I've, I've got to go and build a house. I need to go Yeah, build. let's play together. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing a, like a solo thing right now, so I need to stay as a solo. That's possible, but we can be like allies if you want. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay. Are you going to live it's, around too? It's, it's good, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm recording like a series or whatever, yeah. so. Oh. Wow. Okay. What an asshole. This is why you shouldn't be friendly to people. Alright, we've got two stone nodes here. Let's quickly grab these and then we'll try and build ourselves a base. Alright, how much stone? Okay, so we've got 2.3k stone. We should craft our hammer and paper right now. Then we can start building a house. Uh, we can also craft our TC right now. We'll also craft uh, a log and the building plan. Got him. It looks like he was collecting wood. He might. Oh, there we go. 
That's an extra 2k of wood for us. No cloth there too, we need that cloth. Alright, so we've got everything we need to build a base, we just need to choose a location. Uh, I think we'll probably just live around here, we've got a warehouse right here, it is in a bit of a shitty location. But I don't really feel like running across the map right now. Let's check if anyone's building these rock shit, because if they haven't, this is where I'm going to build. Hopefully they haven't. No, okay, where can I do it though? Probably have this as the back of the base. That'll be the bike right here. Alright, let's try and wall all this off quickly. I'm gonna put our door right here. Do this quickly as possible. Right, put the door down quickly. Door, lock, and craft key. There we go, we've upgraded everything. Oh, 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 forgot about something major there. Almost forgot to upgrade that then. So, we're going to put our TC in the bike there, even though we can't wall it off, because if you wall it off, you can't keep it going. So, we want to authorize on that. Okay, so it's only 200 stone in 30 for this little base. That's protecting it for six minutes. That's only one stone. Okay, so 20, that's not bad for 24 hours, even though it is a small base. I'm sure that once we upgrade it to more stone, it's going to cost more stone. But for now, let's craft some chairs. Let's craft ourselves a sleeping bag and leave these inside our house. Right, but we're going to head out. We're going to try and get ourselves some animal fat so we can make a furnace. But I'm going to be careful of somebody door camping because I did hear people out here before. So let's be careful when opening. Seems pretty safe. I'm not a big fan of carrying this key round because if I do die then, you know, someone's going to steal my base. I think we might have just grabbed enough stone then to upgrade the rest of the base. So let's quickly just check this. Grab our hammer. Right, so we've got the roof there. Upgrade those two. Nice. So I think now all we need in the TC is just, yeah, just stone. So for now we can just put a little bit in there. That'll protect it for nine hours. Okay. That's pretty cool. Right, we're just going to craft the stash and leave the key in it before we head out though. Right, we've got the stash, can we place it like here? I guess that'll be a good spot for now. Right, let's hide that. Oh, a pig! Okay, this is going to help us, hopefully, get a furnace. I don't think we're going to get enough from this. But we should get pretty close to it. Alright, let's start crafting all of that. We do need some more cloth. We don't have any in the base though, which kind of sucks, so... We need to find some. There's some right here, so let's grab this. Right, so we managed to get a total of 32, which means that we still need 18 more. I do have 5 in the base, which brings it down to 13. I believe that the lighthouse actually has quite a few oil barrels in there. We can go over there and try and get some low grade from the barrels. Or I can kill that bear. Huh. That's another option. There's already someone looking like they're trying to attack it with a spear. Do we have enough arrows? They have 17 arrows. I'm not sure if that's quite enough, but we're gonna, we can at least give it a try. Hopefully it doesn't end up killing us. Why have you got to try? Just fuck off, bro. Well done. So why does everyone try and fuck kill you? Seriously. You've got a spear, I've got a bow and arrow. Of course I'm going to win the fight. There we go, finally. I'm pretty sure we hit that like 20 times then. Get all that arrows bike. We we'll chop it up. We should definitely have enough animal fat now though. Yep, definitely have enough. Let's craft all of that quickly. Hey naked! Hey!
You want you want a spear? Yeah. You want a spear? Here, there's some tools here for you as well. I'm dropping a pickaxe and a and a hatchet. Why now. did you give me stuff? Yeah. What? Why are you giving me this? Just to help you out. Okay, thanks. See ya. Appreciate it. Right, let's grab our key quickly. There we go, and let's jump inside. Nice, so let's start crafting our furnaces. We should be able to craft a couple actually. So we can craft two right there. That's two we're crafting. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the noise that it makes when you uh, open chests now. It's kind of annoying every time you switch in chests to make that noise. Like every single time you do it, if you listen. Rather annoying. Now let's try and get our furnaces placed. And I do believe that furnaces look a little bit different from before now. Let's take a look. There we go. But as you can see, it's a lot more dirty and it looks a lot better. It kind of like fits the style of rust. There we go. We'll start that up. We'll grab another furnace, put that one there. There we go. We'll start this one up here as well. There we go. We'll place a fireplace down too, so let's put that there. If we turn that on, we should be able to see them better, as you can see. That's what they look like. Pretty nice. To the finish, even through the blemishes, my heart is replenished. Violent images with something in store, it's kinda heavy. Hold it steady, I'm ready for war with no condition.